Hello everyone. Welcome. Understanding race, ethnicity, and nationality. Delineation Nation by Black Contraband Media. What is race, ethnicity, nationality? What is culture, subculture? What is being a biracial or biethnic? Today we're going to talk about that and the nuances of society. This is a reparations educational series. Brought to you in partnership by Go Create Media and the Freeman Agenda League of Michigan. Understanding the nuance of race, ethnicity, and nationality. What is race? In the United States, race is a social construct that has been used to divide people into a caste-like system where some groups have privilege and access and others do not. Since the inception of our country, this system has yielded an oppressive democracy where some citizens have been targeted as the permanent bottom class. Race is ascribed to individuals on the basis of their physical traits. According to the American Anthropological Association, the racial worldview was invented to assign some groups to a perpetual low status, while others were permitted access to privilege, power, and wealth. Indeed, American society at large has been structured to use race to establish and justify systems of power, privilege, disenfranchisement, and oppression. In short, race is something that is made up that seeks to classify a group of people on the basis of their phenotype in order to support an unequal society where some are privileged and others are not. Despite these being the facts, as it relates to race and today, now that we are in this advanced society, we must accept that some people have accepted the ideology behind race and this social grouping that has created the society that we know today. With our understanding of race, we shall advocate for equality amongst those races as it is important to embody the American ideals set forth in our Constitution that all men are born free and equal. What is ethnicity? Ethnicity is another social construct that encompasses everything from language, culture, heritage, and history. Like race, ethnicity can also be used to assign a caste-like system in which some are deliberately given privilege and others are not. Ethnicity is very unique in that it offers members of a race with a degree of agency to define their community and heritage. Ethnicity is with you since the day of your birth as it is biologically inherited. What is nationality? Nationality is an identity with a group of people who share legal attachment and personal allegiance to a particular country by way of citizenship or origin. Examples, the United States of America. Americans, or being an American, is a unique nationality to those who are citizens or who have personal loyalties to the United States of America by way of their birth or origins. France, the country of France, has a nationality for French people. And the French people, again, just like Americans, have a particular personal allegiance by way of citizenship or origin that defines their nationality. And the same could be said with Irish people as well as Japanese people, recognizing that Yes, the name Irish could also be used for their ethnicity, and it can also be used for their nation in the sense that it represents the nation or country that groups of people who are Irish can be located in. What is culture? Culture is the ideas, customs, and social behavior of a particular group of people. All ethnicities have a culture. A particular culture can be observed among a particular group of people. Uh, Culture is unique and complex. 
All ethnic groups and nationalities have a unique culture, and all races have unique ethnic groups. Unlike ethnicity, culture can be learned and adopted, while ethnicity is inherited from the heritage of your parents. What is subculture? <clears throat> a subculture refers to a smaller group of people who stand separate from the mainstream culture as they share slightly different beliefs, ideas, traditions, and values. For example, the Nigerian culture can be divided into different ethnic groups that make up that identity. The same can be said for black Americans as it relates to the black subcultures within the United States that stand separate from the mainstream black American culture that originates out of the South. What is a biracial? A biracial is a person representing or including people from two different races. A person of black and white descent is an example of a biracial, or a person of Asian and black descent is an example of a biracial. These are people of two races. What is a bi-ethnic? A person, a bi-ethnic person is a person belonging or relating to two different ethnic groups. An example, a person of Haitian and Nigerian descent, or a person of Japanese and Chinese descent. Being bi-ethnic is unique in that a person has ties to two unique ethnic groups that make up their being. A person can be both biracial and biethnic or monoracial and biethnic. Now, let's look at this from another angle. Let's try to use an example to paint race, ethnicity, and nationality, and cultures and subcultures into a bucket. All right, let's begin. Picture your country as a city. Within this city, each street represents a race. White street, black street, Asian street, etc. On each street, every house represents a unique ethnicity of a race. For example, on Asian street, you would have houses for the Chinese, Japanese, Taiwanese, Korean, and other Asian ethnic groups on that street. On Black Street, you would have Jamaicans, Ethiopians, Black Americans, Haitians, Jamaicans, Nigerians, who all have houses that represents the Black ethnic groups of the Black race or the Black Street. And the same could be said for White Street, which would have Irish, German, Jewish, French, Ukrainian, and Russian people who all make up the white ethnic groups that represent the white race. Within each house are different floors that are comprised of the subcultures of each ethnicity. Now where does nationality fit in the picture? On the outside porch of each house that represents an ethnic group is a flag that represents a country affiliation or citizenship of the ethnic group. This by and large represents the nationality of the specific ethnic groups in, in the country in which they represent. What about biracials and bi-ethnic people? Where do they fit in? Because of their unique identity, some biracials are able to visit both streets of their ancestry. An example, a biracial of the black and Asian races would have a dual identity that allows them to have a unique connection to black and Asian street and the houses that represent the ethnic group of those races. The same could be said for bi-ethnic individuals of one or more races. Bi-ethnic individuals are unique in that within the same race or street, there are individuals who have connections to more than one house that represents an ethnic one thing that isn't necessarily talked about as it relates to the biracial or bi-ethnic individual is that their unique identities place them in a situation where they can be considered to have their own street within the city that represents the world they live in or a street where many houses are represented by individuals who can never fully represent a single race or ethnic group maybe we could consider them like townhouses that are connected to two separate structures. I hope you enjoyed my presentation on understanding race, ethnicity, and nationality. Brought to you by reparationists near you.